today, one of my coworkers comes in my office, you know, I got all my motorcycle gear on a, on a table in my office. Because I, 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 go, I go to work, change really quick. And then uh, in my backpack, I have just my casual clothes. You know, we don't, we don't really, being a programmer, you don't have to really dress up all, all that much. So yeah, I just have the stuff draped over there. <laughs> and of all the things, they like my boots. I have a pair of a TCX X Action boots. <laughs> They're commenting on that. It looks like a sports store. One of them said, so, yeah, they're all draped out over my table. Because <laughs> I have, the way it's set up as I have my own office, it's pretty dang big. Um, you have several computers in there, um, a concept board, and a meeting place, and so that meeting place is like my, a little table we use, and uh, that's where I have my stuff draped out. <laughs> I've also been through a... Uh, Quite a few rainstorms. I'll have to do a filming of a, 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 just a commute in a rainstorm. It is, you know, at least I, I ride a lot differently. More, I'm more concentrated on staying on top of the bike rather than con conditions like this where you just lean right out when you're doing a turn. Got to watch. And then you take known streets, of course. You don't want to hit a, an invisible pothole stuff like that nasty knock off your bike screw up your rim all kinds of bad bad voodoo stuff man at least for me you know riding and having this as, a, as a, my uh, commute vehicle is, a, is exactly that so short of snow here <laughs> and uh, a torrential tropical storm I'm riding I had Chinese food for lunch it is so funny there's this restaurant across from where I work. They have, they have good food, right? But I don't know if it's like this very large family uh, that, that they're, they're from Taiwan. And you make friends with them. And then, they, and, then they're, and then they go back to Taiwan. And someone else from their family then like runs it. And, they, and then they, they don't come back. The other... The friends you make, they, they don't come back because they get to know what you like and you can just show up and they know what you want. Then it starts all over. And there's like a lunch special that I like. It's a steamed chicken with mixed vegetables. You know, I don't like any of the sauces on there. And so when, when the new family members come over or something, they uh, just go, oh yeah, what do you want? And it, it gets, it's typically not on the menu. But if you, once they get to know me, then they know they just make it. And I just, okay, there's no questions asked. But, oh, man. Somebody new, it takes forever to order on the phone. You know, it's like, what, what do they know? What is this guy wanting with a steam <laughs> chicken with mixed vegetables? But once they get to know you, and then, you, and then of course, you start chit-chatting. You pick up your food. You go there so much. I don't go there. I mean, well, I do. Off and on. I try to bring my own lunch sometimes, but it doesn't work out. I alternate. I don't know. I, I, I'm a person that will stick to a, a certain kind of food and just eat it without without change until I get tired of it, and then I then I rotate to another food and do the same thing when it, when it comes to lunch. I mean, it's just like a systematic process. <laughs> it 
<laughs> then I even have a, a period, <laughs> which is kind of a joke right now. I used to take weight training seriously, where I'd have these shakes and all this other stuff and do that. Boy, and those get tired. You get tired of that quick. But, uh, you got to get back to doing that. The thing is, I get so busy with programming at night. You get tired, you come home, you're tired, you got to spend time with your wife and kids, have some fun. Then it's back to where you get tired, you don't want to go to the gym. Well, I will end it here and then see you on the next ride.